The unexpected deaths of two students at Fayetteville State University has the campus there in mourning. We're told the deaths are not related and investigators are waiting for autopsy results before revealing how they died. But WRL Fayetteville reporter Gilbert Bays is speaking to the family of one of the women who says she had been sick for quite some time. Well, this has been an emotional time for students and faculty here at Fayetteville State University. You had two young ladies who were both seniors here at FSU who passed away. Now the university community is coming together to make sure both families are okay. 22-year-old Maya Barfield and 32-year-old Radiance Ellis were both seniors at Fayetteville State University. Both women died August 26. Fayetteville police mistakenly listed Barfield's death as a homicide. She was found dead in the University Place apartments after her family requested a wellness check. Investigators have not said how she died. I met Ellis's family at her viewing. They told me she was a type 1 diabetic and died after a lengthy battle with the disease. It was a tough go for her, but you know she stayed sick for a while. So we, we did it together with her and we got through it. Her husband says Ellis graduated from FSU in 2013 with a degree in criminal justice. She went back to school seeking a second degree. But this most recent when she was going back for social work. And she had talked about, you know, of course, throughout the years of trying to figure out what you want to do. But when she locked in on social work, uh, she definitely, definitely was all in for it, you know. The university held a candlelight vigil last night in the courtyard of the student center. In a statement, FSU's chancellor said in part, as I shared with both of their mothers, our entire campus is grieving and praying while also understanding the importance of coming together to shape the best path forward. Now, two families who are looking forward to graduations are looking for loving ways to say goodbye. She was a light oftentimes in hard times and dark places. So just as her name is spelled Radiance, um, she always had a, a smile. Barfield's funeral takes place Saturday in her hometown of Greenville. Ellis will be buried tomorrow at Conference B headquarters in Rayford. In Fayetteville, Gilbert Bays, WREL News.